All right, we are back. As you can tell, we are speeding through and uh, making sure nothing stops us this time. Well, we're not done in this area yet, but next part we will be not moving out of the Good Springs area. We're still gonna mess around and be there for another part or two because we're gonna be doing a mod. We're gonna be uh, exploring the mod area, but I gotta we'll worry about that when uh, part six comes around. I'll introduce you to our new location. Where we'll be fulfilling and, uh, fulfilling and just kind of finessing. I'm not sure the best word for it. Basically, we're going to be running a bar and uh, trying to recruit heat, uh... Ever seen the show Gunsmoke? There's a, there's a, there's a lady on it called Miss Kitty. We're going to be record, recruiting Miss Kitties. Now, on the radio version of the show, she was the madam of the house, which meant... Well, kind in a kinder word, she was a she was a gosh darn dirty hooker. But in the TV show, they played it down and did it a little more finesse and just kind of... Oh, she... She's the... They wouldn't say the lady of the house, but she, she was the owner of the bar. And, uh... She served the drinks and, uh... Kept the other people in line. Now, I wish we could hire Miss Kitty, but basically we're going to be Miss Kitty. We're going to be keeping the entertainment in line and uh, fully not stocked. Well, yeah, we're going to keep the bar stocked with alcohol, but other than that, it's just going to basically be a fun time with a lot of fun jokes. And I honestly, it's not like a world changing quest mod, but it adds a few areas and adds an a few places that actually that really do seem like they would be not out of the fucking world for a Fallout game. Like there's a little metro station or like a not tunnel system. It's <sighs> when we get to the mod, we will. I'll show you where the one place is. There's like a small tribal-ish town. It's like quarter, half, half and half. Half civilized, half tribal. Because they have, like, people that act really silly, or not silly. Well, yeah, no, there's a few characters that are just straight up silly. Buy some supplies? Like a goddamn goddamn trick you. Look at you, look you, Lou. Or, uh, yeah, I don't know. There's a few characters in the in the mod that I thoroughly found entertaining, and it's made by a guy who genuinely makes good. For what it is catered to, it is a good mod. It's free. It's free add-on to the game, and a person didn't charge you to install it. In fact, I think Bethesda said they'll sue anyone that tries to make you. Other than them, only they can sell you mods that people made. If anyone tries to make mod selling or sell mods, you are getting fucking sued. Don't you dare try to use our product in a, in a way that would benefit or slightly change the landscape of our gaming market. Anyways, as you can see, we... We're, uh... Kind of doing the old game of trade a bunch of crap and see if we can get back all our money. I really don't know if I want to sell that tire iron or not. I'm kind of in between, but I'll keep it.
sadly I didn't pick that up. That would have been a really good grab. The electric, the plasma pistol magazine or whatever that was. I'm not sure if the exact amount of time passes between in Fallout New Vegas that shops update their inventory. I should check that out real quick so I can tell you. Thanks. Date. Take 72 to 96 hours, respectively. You might also need to be outside of the area for vendors to, to change stock. That's close enough. Who are you? I'm not an enemy, if you're asking. Sorry about the gun. We got off to a bad start. Yeah. Did you know a man named Joe Cobb for though. you? I hear he's afraid I'll shoot him down from one of the windows when I see him. And he's right. I'll have a much bigger problem once his friends show up. There's no way I could handle all of them in a gunfight. I'm gonna lay low for as oh long boy. as I can, assuming the town doesn't throw me to the wolves. I've got... I didn't want to mention it, but we just dude, end up sharing the same grave. It's just situations get wild. Uh, if some of the other people in town were also on board, like fucking Christ, start dude, with sunny like, smiles. I'm not a genuinely like. Cons I'm not a liberal person or like a, you know, I'm not one of those like fucking SJW people. I'm not a, a person that really gets offended, but the fact that they would constantly go out of their way to fuck with, to mess with the gay, the gay employee, like the openly gay employee, and you would openly make suicidal jokes to him. Even though he's, like, multiple times said, I'm a suicide survivor. Or I've attempted to take my life in the past. And they still went out of their way to fucking make jokes about that kind of shit. I mean, I, I'm not a... I'm not a saint. I've made bad jokes. I've made shitty jokes that were not funny. But that really takes the cake. Like, why even hire him if you're gonna do that kind of shit? Like, you're, you're just kind of asking for fucking trouble, dude. Did you think you were uncancelable because you acted like you were a cool, cool kid that didn't offend anybody and, in fact, stood up for the minorities? Like, did you think you were gonna get by and just not... Dude, why even hire a fucking... Why hire a late, like, a person if you're not gonna openly, like, take things seriously? Address situations with full, comparable, and accountability. I mean, for a guy who likes to mention that this is, this, that Super Mega is the, their magnum opus. I really fucking doubt that they really cared about it too much if they didn't really take all of the precautions. I don't know. I worked at a job and dude literally had a window on his door just so he couldn't get accused of being like a, a getting a t bad touching a girl. So I mean, in this day and age, you, you got you got a lot of psychos that kind of go out of their way to do shit to like kind of wash their ass, but these guys didn't think for a minute. 
should I be joking with the with the one guy who, if I make a joke with the other guy and I see him into a room, I gotta tear up the, the little scratch, the little sticky put po note with the N word on it because if Layton sees it, there's gonna be hell to pay. Dude, like, why even hire the guy if you don't if you know that you're like like you have such different personalities and like beliefs and things and like. Were you just trying to earn browning points by saying, we have an openly gay kid, or, I don't know how his age, he seems to be mid-twenties, but like, you didn't seem to really think things through, Super Vega, for, uh, god, I love them, I love them, you know, not recently, for the past two years I've been unsubscribed, but, I used to really love the fucking super mega shit. I like when I when I used to watch Game Grumps as a. I mean, I never really did watch Game Grumps too much. I watched uh, the John Tron era, and then as soon as John Tron disappeared, this Dan guy showed up. I kind of I was like, oh cool, he smokes weed. That's cool. He he, he does cool. He does he does the the joke. Okay. As the bare minimum of a of a co-host to keep Aaron from being the fucking personality vacuum that he is. You should have stuck to animating that. Like, uh, Aaron, hey, I'm not even gonna talk about the this, the Game Grumps shit because they they they're doing fine, but they've also shot themselves in the foot a little bit because you're never gonna go past two three million or. I'm not even gonna look up what they're doing because it's like not even my prerogative. They're, they've they've made their own bed and they're gonna lie in it, in my opinion. But like I I watched a few of their Super Mega episodes. That's where I learned about Super Mega, and I really I really like them. I like this Brian dude. I like this Matt bro. He he they're funny. They they try to make semi entertaining jokes that don't grate on my great on me too much and as soon as I forget about them and I move on with my life and genuinely think oh you know th they seem to be doing okay I don't need to worry about them I don't need to think about the super mega anymore they're just gonna fade off into the into the ethos of oh we did a fa semi popular YouTube shit and they'll get a TV show or they'll get whatever the fuck that Whatever's gonna be the future for YouTube when YouTube dies. Because we both know, we all know that fucking... No matter how entertaining or how whatever you are... There is no future for when no one can make jokes on the internet. Or no one can say their fucking piece. And it's gonna be... Bulletin point. Or talking point. It's, I don't know, man. In the long run, I thought they'd be the, the guys that kind of got off easy and didn't need to worry about shit blowing up in their face. But I guess, I guess playing truck simulator, American truck simulator and acting like nothing bad's going on isn't really a, good, a viable option. I mean, I literally looked, I had to take a gander at their channel, and it's just literally, their two apologies, and then American Truck Simulator, American Truck Simulator, American Truck Simulator. For a magnum opus, it sure has a lot of, uh, hour, two hour long video streams of you guys literally sitting there with a fucking controller, a fake trucker controller, playing American Truck Simulator, delivering fake packages as a virtual trucker because doing that in real life would be, would require smoking meth or hard decisions in life, and that is not the way of the Super Mega. Choosing between a guy who assaulted a friend 
or the friend who's like, hey, this just happened. Can you not associate with him? It's like, uh, oh, 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 I, 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 I don't know. He's he's a really good artist. Can we, can we just kind of keep him on the side? That's that's when you know shit's kind of a little bit too far gone for Super Vega. Can you not associate with person that that sexually assaulted me? Ooh, do I have to? The fact you had to answer, you responded is. Do we? Oh, dude, the fact that they had the audacity to fucking say, "Are you sure? Again, are you should feel this way?" It's like they like wanted them to get together so fucking bad. They're like, "You should get married," and, and the girls just like, "Please, God, fucking no!" This is a long-term blog long distance relationship and the first time we get together in a close quarters he forces himself on me and you're saying we need to get married how about in three four years I come for your career that isn't what she really did but I mean honestly fucking Christ they should have just kind of assumed they should have like basically assumed as soon as as soon as they kicked them out of their house and were like openly feuding with them and like, is there passive aggressiveness? Thanks. Did the, did the Dawn situation go, not go over good? It's like, oh, you fucked yourself. You mentioned it. You literally, you literally fucking spelled it out and said it that there was a fucking situation with a person that. It's just fucked, man. I genuinely did not think that there would be a fucking rape apologist Matt and Brian fucking gifts, dude. And the fucking apologist that was like coming out of the woodworks trying to like Brat and Ryan didn't deserve this. They they're good boys. They they make funny jokes. It's like dude. Hello there. It's good to see a friendly oh, face. Holmes. I almost took you for a raider, I did. Name's Malcolm. Malcolm Holmes. Don't suppose you'd care to trade. I'm missing a few essentials and... Ah, oh, screw this. Lying just ain't in my nature. I'll tell it to you straight. I... It started off innocently enough. I was traveling, as I often do, and happened to observe you I picking up one of those blue star area, So he literally you had to see me to it. So I figured you didn't know what you got your hands on. Now or right out of the cre crevasse that I literally climbed down in to get the sunset star that's real cap. There's an old wasteland legend that says somewhere out there is a fabulous treasure Anyways. for the wolf. Those caps with the blue star on them, the tale goes, are the key to that treasure. They're called sunset sarsaparilla stars. All over the place. The easiest place to find them is unopened bottles of sunset sarsaparilla. You'd think they'd all have been picked clean by now, but somehow, new bottles keep appearing. Some say it's old Festus who does it, hoping someone will finally collect enough caps to earn the treasure. Oh, Other we're gonna bottles, be doing that. We're not gonna be it. actively we'll looking for it to get it done as fast as possible. We will we'll no passively collect a hundred or fifty caps and, uh... Nah, I gave it up years ago. Too dangerous. And even if I did... He says he gave it up, but, tell you to uh... See. There's people I don't know about so that mad one. with the idea of treasure that they'll attack strangers just on the suspicion that they have some of those caps. I, I'm not a denied it's or implying that I'm one of those people, but I've done that a few times. He's the one who for the blue star caps. It's also said he's been around since the war, standing a lonely vigil, waiting for someone to come and take the treasure off his hands. That'll make him pretty damn old, but I've met a few people in my travels who claim they actually met him. And they weren't the line type either. Anyways, no knows, well, money, weapons, I had fun water. discussing the it Super is, Mega really was something of value, and that's enough to get fall for grace. 
No problem. I am if going to, to attempt stars, to get the last out episode out. Named Alan Marks. He's killed several next. people for this stars already. I don't know. Anyways, see you next time. You enjoy and uh morning. Be safe out there. Don't do anything stupid to ruin your own fucking future. <laughs>